to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host, Zila, and we are here today doing the Alpha 8 Season 8 Iron Man competition. And so last episode, I finished off the shrine. I took it over. Um, I kind of modified it a bit, so I'll just pan out. So, you, so that's the the CV. That's the um, you know the camel shack, which I gotta rename. Maybe one of you guys can come up with a name for it. It's just kind of a big metal blob. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, you don't need to see the CV. You've seen that before. So here we are, parked on top of the shrine because I have converted the shrine into a base and so I flattened it off I filled in a bunch of areas I made a I sealed all that on up inside there I'm gonna have a garden in there um, so we kept a bunch of it the way it is because it's cool this observation deck so basically you come inside and then here, let's let's get down off the top of the CV here because that's ridiculous. And here, heights gives you the EBGBs. Woo! Okay, okay, okay. Don't die! Don't die! Okay. Oh, oh, missed. <laughs> Sorry, just psyching you guys out. Okay. Here, let's just go down and down. Boom, here we go. So here is the top of the, the base, the shrine. I guess I don't know what we're going to call it, but the CV just barely fits on it, which is cool. So it fits on it. I'm not, the CV is not going to get any bigger at this point. So, um, <clears throat> so the first deck that come down to, I think it is going to be like a control room. I left some of the deco in there right now because it, it'll work in here fine and I'll, I'll put some more in here later. So I've got to paint and texture, obviously. Uh, next one that you come down into is the, the I'll call it the um, reception, I guess. And then down here will be like the waiting. The, ugh, really? It's dark out? Here, you know what? You know what? This is ridiculous. <clears throat> Let's just go like this. No, you know what? You know what? What do we got on us? What do we got on us here? We have... Do we have anything? Do we have anything we can use there? No? No? Okay. So... Do I have it in here? No. Okay, so I haven't grabbed it yet, so let's grab it from here. Uh, we'll grab, there we go, and some deco. Don't need all that stuff, but whatever. Oh, I had a whole bunch of solar panel. Those are the big ones or small ones? One lot cost five, level three. Huh. I had a whole bunch that I had looted. Well, great, I made a whole bunch. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. There, we can just go back down here. We can just go down. Let's just go down. Um, no, I don't want that. Let's, you know what? Over here, I think, is it over here? One of these side rooms, is it this one? Yes, I think it's this one. No, this is going to be the garden. This is the garden area. So the plots that I had with me, I just threw in here for now. They're steel plots. I don't need to use steel plots, but I'm, I'm not planning on building another CV. And this will be probably the only base. So uh, there we go. My own personal trader. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to show you guys something. This is what the new patch introduced. I'm going to go into my control panel. And here, let's just, 
auto group everything right now just to just to put it in here let's take a look and oh there's a new group huh called trader well trading because this base when i took it over i had this guy here he was a he was a cafe dude well guess what in the control panel now so let's go into the control panel we're going to go into him and we can actually now change him we can change his name we can change his model we can change what he accepts we can change his restock timer and most importantly we can change what type of trader he is So basically, by taking over the shrine with this one vendor in it, I now have my own personal trader of every single type that I want. So I, I'll show you. I had him on. Um, what did I have him on again? Interweb, right? So he started off as Market Cafe. Okay. So I even. I'm going to change his model there too. Let's see what model one looks like. I think that's what model one looks like. Let's see. Model two. Oh, no, it doesn't change. I don't know. Okay. So let's get out of here. And see, now he's back to selling the. Oh. Um. <laughs> He sells both. He sells both. Wow. Okay. I'm not sure if that's. Uh, I was switching them back, but now he sells both. Okay. So, okay. Do I. Hmm. Um, <laughs> hey, Market Cafe. But it's only. You can only select the one type, right? So. What if we. Trader default. What's that? And doesn't seem to have done anything. Oh, is that may maybe this is what the trader default is? Hi, I'm Trader, Trader Default, and I'm selling food. Uh huh. And other stuff. Okay. Um. Well. You know, <laughs> can I, let's get it. Maybe I have to close this. And maybe I got to log off, log back in for it to change. Turn to default. Uh, but I mean, the first time I did this, I switched it to the interweb. And it switched it right away. See, there's no like hit OK or anything to like hit save. It just does it. And no, it doesn't seem to be working now. So it, it all it did is just seem to add interweb to his current selection. And now it doesn't seem to change anymore. Hmm. That's interesting. Um, well, I'm actually kind of lucky if it if that's what I'm stuck with. I got the good one because I got the guy with heavy armor. He buys and sells boosts, night vision goggles. I got a whole bunch of those to sell, actually. Uh, he sells the kits, all the kits, and buys and sells the weapons for those. Uh, yeah, I mean... That's pretty crazy. He can um, see that I've got laser rifle, pulse rifle, pulse rifle T2. So he'll sell. He'll buy. See, I can't buy any because I don't have enough money, right? How many of them can I sell? I've got one, two, three. 
I've got three. Okay. Let's sell. Let's sell one. So now that gave me a whole bunch more cash. Plus, what I've been doing is, um, here. Let's. What, what else can we sell? Can we sell? I didn't really want to sell all those pulse rifles, did I? Shotgun, T2 shotgun, laser rifle, regular shotgun. So. Huh. I don't see the T2 shotgun in here anymore. You know what? This is not interweb. Something went weird here. Something obviously went weird here. This is all... Maybe this is default. Interweb military equipment store. Eh. I'm not really sure what went on. I think it glitched out a bit. Obviously, it seems to have. Ooh. What else? I can sell some of these mini guns. I've got couple of them will sell you. Yeah. Like the 31,000. What I'm trying to get is the 75,000 for the heavy armor. Uh, sniper T2. Does he buy sniper T2s? No. Laser pistol T2. No. Okay. Does upgrade kits. Laser rifle. Shotgun T2. Laser rifle. I'd like to actually convert that to a epic laser rifle and start to... It's just that I think the next mission is going to... We're not even going to be able to use any of these weapons. Is is The thing is, is I don't want to spend a whole bunch on stuff I'm not going to be allowed to use. So I'm trying to get the heavy armor because I know I'm going to need that. <clears throat> so, oh, right, I've got a couple of laser rifles. You know what? Let's do it. Let's let's sell them one of those at least. Well, we're getting there. We're about we're almost halfway. Or yeah, we're about halfway to uh getting the heavy armor. So that's good. What I can do is I can make Ooh, that's all expensive stuff to make. Yeah, that's all real expensive. Huh. I do have a whole bunch of night vision goggles, but that's not a lot. <coughs> all the boosts, mobility, armor, and multi, but I'd rather buy the multi. I'll have to see if I have any mobility boosts. We could sell them explosive devices. Oh, look at that. It's a pretty good price, too. I'll buy eight of them. That's, that's a decent amount of coin for eight. Yeah. So, okay. So, awesome. Um, what I'm going to do really quick, just... Just to see, just to see if things glitch out after I changed them like that. Let's just quickly log off. And log back in. Okay, so let's see what he got. Laser pistol, laser rifle. Yeah, it doesn't look like his things changed at all. Okay, so I think that's what I'm stuck with, with because it doesn't seem to make a difference anymore. Hmm. Well, it's kind of weird. Um, do I maybe change this back? Be like Trader 3, maybe? Let's try that. 
So that doesn't seem to make a difference either. Yeah, I'm just not seeing a difference at all. Nope. Well, that's okay. It it gives me something to work with. I can. There's a way to get heavy armor now. I have a way to get heavy armor in the game. Uh, I've just got to sell him stuff. Ooh, food. He'll buy food. He'll buy pizzas and meat burgers. It's a pretty decent coin, actually. Huh. Yeah. Well, look at that dino. He'll buy a ton of dino stew. At good, at good coin. So dino stew. And meat burgers. He'll do eight meat burgers and 17 dino stews. 1700 huh that uh, that's not bad um, it's like a couple grand right there just selling him some food right now that I can easily cook up on the CV okay p2 rocket launchers I'm not sure if I have any of those they give me a really good money for him <laughs> did loot a, a plasma, the plasma cannon last time, and I want to hold on to that. <clears throat> okay. Uh, what we can do now is I'll take you around. I'll show you. Um, here, you know what? <laughs> this, is, this is total cheese. So let's do it, obviously, right? So I'm just going to throw a bed down here. So, you know, after... after Trading with him all night. I'm just exhausted. So let's go to sleep. And then, so does he offer? What does he offer now? And he'll only buy one night vision. Okay. So there we go. Let's, uh, it's <laughs> a quick way to reset them. Um, I'll buy a whole bunch of rocket launchers, though. So let's just put some <laughs> kind of a cheesy way to do that, but whatever. So now I can actually go show you around. Here, let's get that out of my hand. So yeah, I'm going to have total way of getting armor now. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, actually, that might be it. I think I've shown you around. Oh, no, 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 no. I've got a bedroom. I've got a bedroom. I should have put the bed in the bedroom. Now that, this is the, this is not the bedroom. But I put a bit there anyway, just, you know, because <clears throat> over here, so we've got a bunch of interesting areas inside here that are all sealed in too, that I can work with and do stuff with, you know, just lots of room for activities, some good, some good observation areas, some just, this is actually a going to be a cool base. Real cool base. So, yeah. Yeah, lots of lots of space to do stuff. And I'm thinking this will be my bedroom. It's got some cool sight lines. I can see the uh, unknown artifact there floating. I can see mountains over here. We've got a, a bit of an obstructed view there, but not bad. I guess I could knock out that back wall and put that all in as glass, and that's probably a good idea. That's probably a good idea. I should do that. 
I'll do all that off camera. I'll, I'll do all the work off camera here, the stuff that nobody wants them to really see. The boring, the boring stuff. Eat some food before I starve. Um, yeah, so that's basically what I've done in a nutshell is seal this whole thing in like that. This just comes back over to the other side here where the garden is going to continue. So you walk through the cafe um, arms dealership and <laughs> and then, you know, take a stroll through the garden. Uh, this is the waiting room with stairs down to to an observation deck waiting area, I guess, you know. Because really that's all there is down here. But I wanted to keep this because that's really nice. I really like that. It's I like the 360 degree view there, technically. It's really nice. So, yeah, I kept a good chunk of the base intact because I liked it. And then, obviously, the downstairs, though, I modified quite a bit and added. I basically brought the, the level, the floor. I filled this whole area. I just basically brought the floor flush with the doors. And that created this very cool chamber, central chamber. And it's a large, quite a large chamber, actually. Um, I'm thinking I'll put the a furnace here. I'll build a furnace. Actually, let's see. Do we have enough mats right now? Let's see. Oh yeah, and I got all these gold coins. So I can uh, put an ATM here and I'll put it up by the trader, obviously. Um, let's see, can we make one? Can we make one? Nope. Capacitor device, so I need a lot more of the, um, of the Neo. Got like none. Do I really have none? No, it must be back on the ship. I probably, I might be able to make one. If anything, I can throw a bunch of stuff, a bunch of the generators and stuff into the blueprint factory and spawn just a furnace CV. Uh, CV that's just a furnace and a, um, oh, a CV. Yeah, I can't. No, I can't do that. How would I do that? I could I could do, go down below, make a base that's just a core in the furnace, and then spawn that down on the ground. Yeah. That would work. Then I pop the furnace off, kill the core, and bring the furnace back up. Okay. So I can do that off camera too. So I'd go into creative mode and make a base that's just a furnace and a core. <laughs> and then spawn that in down below and, and pop the core. And I might need to do that. You can see I've done that with a whole bunch of CV parts. So, like, just the cockpit. Uh, one of the big thrusters. Um, single laser, pulse laser. Stuff like that. Warp drive plus tank. Just the warp drive, advanced constructor. So stuff like the advanced constructor, I could I could spawn that in on my base and pop the advanced constructor off the core, pop the core, and then put that advanced constructor on my base because it's compatible with both CV and base, right? So um, cannon turret. So so you can see how I actually make stuff in the game is not by necessarily putting the materials into a constructor and crafting it, but putting whole blocks into the blueprint factory and reclaiming them as other devices. So yeah, there we go. 
there's the base so far. I'm going to build this up as basically the construction room, the storage room, the um, smelting room. I'm going to have a furnace there. We're going to have more constructors. And But this is a good start. This is an advanced constructor here to get us started at the base. It, it, uh, it'll be our workhorse here. So I'm really happy with how this turned out. Now that it's light out, we'll go up top here. And so there is a lot of little rooms and stuff because of sealing in all the, the areas that created a whole bunch of rooms. Let's go over here and we'll spawn the drone. <clears throat> and we'll take a look. Look at that view, eh? That's amazing. That's just amazing. So I still got to pretty it up. I'll probably do some. I'll do some texturing and painting for sure. I might also put in some panel work and stuff to try and uh, spruce it up. Uh, put some turrets in. Although I have not got a notification yet of a drone base attack, and I don't think I'm going to. So I'm not sure if I'll bother with the turrets. I don't think I'm going to because this was already a POI that I just took over. So I still got some work to do. I want to multi-tool that off. Um, obviously clean up down here. I could probably add a glass. I was thinking of making a glass 360 degrees observation deck, sealed observation deck around the bottom spire here. I think that would be really cool uh, with a class glass floor uh, glass walls and um, yeah I think I think it would be really awesome so I want to do that and finish off the garden finish painting and texturing it and I'll contour it up a bit and you know maybe detail it a bit but we only got a week left we get our marching orders pretty quick here for the for the final mission so I'm expecting it uh, probably to be the drone base here. Uh, that's probably the toughest thing on the planet. Uh, that it, everyone has the same drone base, I believe. So that's going to be the only, probably the only fair way of doing it and making it a challenge. Because the last, let's face it, the last, the last mission was not really much of a challenge. I mean. I did, I did the mission, if you go back the last couple of videos, I, I shot it, I shot out the turrets and I don't even think I got hit by the eight turrets. I don't even think I got hit. And then I went upstairs, took care of the spawners and the dude upstairs. And again, I don't think I got hit. I don't think I took one point of freaking damage doing the mission. So... That obviously what did not go as cap as the captain intended, and I didn't make it easy on myself. I didn't go and just smash the generator. I busted down the front door. I landed on the bottom pad, busted down the front door, and went in through the bottom floor and and did it on foot. So <clears throat> we were allowed to do it any way we wanted. I chose the hardest way possible. Although I guess I could have used like a hand pistol or maybe a I don't know, the survival tool. I don't even know if it could damage mechanoids. I don't think it can, so that's not really feasible. But it'd be kind of funny. <laughs> Assault a POI with a survival tool. Wow. Um, yeah, don't even think about it, Captain. That's just, that's not even funny. Just etch a sketch what I just said from your brain. Don't, don't even think about it. Well, guys, I'm going to leave it off here. I'm just kind of flying around showing off the uh, the shrine that I've converted into my base. And this is probably the first time in a long time that I've taken over a base and actually taken it over. And the reason is uh, I wasn't going to at first, but there were some cool features to this base. The, the fact that it has... The initial structural integrity uh, was turned off, so 
the bottom blocks now on the the original bottom blocks on the base uh, have like full structural integrity. Any blocks that you remove at that point lose their structural integrity, as do new blocks placed upon a base after it's been spawned in that had the structural integrity turned off, continue to actually have structural integrity afterwards. So just because it's floating does not mean that it... Oof, that gave me the uh, vertical heebie-jeebie, so I'm just going to step away from the edge <laughs> and go lay down for a while. No, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go make a bunch of meat burgers. <laughs> And uh, uh, what what was the other thing that he was going to buy a crap ton of? Um, um, not ratatouille. Oh, God, I'd have to go check now. I'm going to have to go check, but I'll do that off camera. And I'll make myself rich uh, by selling this guy hamburgers and, uh, and pizza or something like that, whatever the heck it was. <laughs> oh, awesome. Hey, can we get to him from here? No. God, that'd be way too easy if we could just stand in one spot and just... <laughs> yeah. Uh, it is already kind of easy. I mean, wow. All we gotta do is just, you know, go up to him and say, hey, buddy, can I uh, sell you some cheese? Um, gold coins, 255. Let's make our, let's make a ATM. Did I actually take that as a thing? Can I make ATMs? Yes, I can. There we go. Oh, I bet you I looted one. I should have checked that first. Oh, well. That's fine. We'll have multiples. We can put one downstairs and one up here. <clears throat> so I'll go deck out my bedroom, get the uh, cafeteria garden going again. This would be good. This would be a really good base. Uh, I'm I'm actually feeling pretty good about this right now. Um, I'm glad we we're able to take out the shrine because this this really worked out. Uh, having him sell heavy armor right now is actually. <laughs> pretty huge uh like like just massive for me okay so let's put the atm down here maybe what do you think like i guess we could do it up here do it up here right here yeah there we go and so we've got 37,623, we're up to 50,000, so we're well on our way to getting that heavy armor. We're two-thirds of the way there, so so not bad. That was our first day of, of interaction with him. We can still get a couple more grand right away by selling the, what was it again, the meat burgers and Dino Stew Royale. Dino Stew Royale, okay. Uh, also rocket launcher, T2 rocket launchers, T2 rocket launchers. I don't think I had any of those. What do we got? We've got... No rocket launchers, just the sniper. Uh, he'll buy all these T2 pistols, but I have a feeling I'm going to need a bunch of them. Got a lot of them, though, don't I? God, I've looted a bunch of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm not going to need six. I can sell a couple. Right? I won't even go through three of them. I didn't go through three before I went. Oh, yes, I did, actually. I, I went through three guns before. I went through T3, T2, 
pistols before in the last one. So yeah, I'll need four. <laughs> I just remember that. It was like, oh yeah, right. I went through, I did go through a whole bunch of guns. It's like crazy, crazy. Okay, so we go through, which way was it again? It was this way, right? I'm still getting used to making my way around here. Okay, so he is going to buy a couple of these for decent money. Oh no, he's not going to sell. He won't sell them. He won't let me buy. What? Oh, that's laser pistols. What am I doing? Pulse rifle. Oh. He, okay, so it was before when he didn't have this mixed menu. He was he was gonna buy and sell all the T two weapons. Like what 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 the heck happened there? He like got squished together with his counterpart. It, it's really weird. Oh well, I'm not gonna complain too much. I only need twenty five more K, and I can buy the heavy armor. So. Uh, I gotta make those T2 so I can plasma cannon explosive devices. Yeah, I can make a bunch of those. I can probably trade a bunch of those. I probably had a bunch already. Well, I think I'm done here. I wanted to show you what I can do and why I'm able to get some armor now. This was the main reason because this guy I was able to change. And I talked to Captain Adonis about this before I did it. Um, or, well, before before I purchased, like I did it, I realized, holy shit, oh, wait, this could be a bad exploit, considering that there is no trader trading station in the starting sector. This could be a big, a big advantage for me if other people don't have access to this vendor, but of course everyone does. Everyone can do this, so it's not an advantage for me because everyone else can do this. So, and he pointed that out, you know, if other people destroyed the vendor, that's on them. That's on them. If they haven't taken over the base and are not planning on, on to, well, that's their choice too. My choice was to take over the base. The side effect was that I got this trader that I now have control of. So because of that, I am now a, I now have access to heavy armor and some really cool boosts, really good ones, actually. Uh, armor boosts and multi boosts are the best freaking thing. Oh, yeah, I can sell all my night vision goggles, too. I can sell one of them. So I should do that before he won't buy any more, before it resets sell fruit pies. I can sell all the food stuff. So, yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to let you guys go. And uh, we're, we're going to leave it here. It's uh, not much to this video. It was kind of boring. But I just wanted to show off what I did to the shrine. And you can see it's all sealed in here. 22 degrees. So this is going to be fantastic. Uh, there's going to be quite a few plots in here, too. I should be able to fit about... 75 or so on each side so probably about 150 plots that's not bad that's not bad I mean that's that's decent I think the CV has like 70 something or 80 something so so not bad between the two that's gonna be a couple a couple hundred plots uh, and I'm not I'm let's face it I don't need the food anymore I've got like tons of food um, what I do need is actually alien tooth. I've got to go harvest teeth. That's actually what I need to do is go harvest teeth. I know it sounds ridiculous, but uh, that's what I need for my medical equipment at this point is some alien teeth. I've got all the eggs. I've got mushrooms. I've got all the spice. Uh, I've got all the other stuff. I just, um, I'm out of teeth. And without the teeth, I can't make the thorns. I can't make all the other subcomponents. Uh, and teeth is the only thing that I can't make. I got to go harvest those. So I got to go kill 
creatures. Now, the things that drop teeth are the spiders. Uh, the crickets drop teeth. Um, the plethosaurs do not, or whatever, whatever you want to call them. Um, the spitty bugs, I believe, do. Um, uh, what else is on the starter planet? The triceratops, I don't think do. I don't think I've ever seen them drop anything other than meat and eggs. Uh, yeah, there's, there's really not a ton of things that drop the teeth. So I think the insect creatures... Hmm, you know what? Maybe next episode we will go check out the, where is it here? Because we're allowed to, and I haven't done it yet. Not the abandoned factory, it's the abandoned drone base. Where is it? Right here, the abandoned drone base, yeah. Yeah, we can go check this out. There should be a ton of those scorp red scorpion dudes for me to kill and get their teeth. I think they drop teeth. I mean, they're, they're insects. The insects seem to drop the teeth. So, uh, yeah. Well, this was good. This was good. Um, I, I got some sprucing up to do. It's, it's kind of annoying right there, isn't it? Let me get rid of that. Should be able to get rid of this. Let's... Open that up a bit. I guess I can do that to the other side too here. I don't want to screw the block that he's standing on. I don't want him falling and dying because then I won't have access to him anymore. So, yeah. Yeah, I've seen a couple of people do that already. I'm like, ooh. Oh, you just killed your own personal vendor. <laughs> oh, well. <sighs> Well, guys, this was good. Um, oh, let's, yeah, I'll, <laughs> I'll put this where it's supposed to go. On the opposite side. Over here. This is going to be my bedroom over here. This is... There we go. There we go, yeah. So I'm going to, I'm going to change this to glass so that I can see all the way a panoramic view. I think that'll be just awesome. Just awesome. Well, guys, until next episode, you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day. <laughs>